This is going to be a fairly quick tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to go through the steps to install the advanced map plugin by Square Websites. This is for Squarespace, and it allows us to do some things that you can't do in the standard Squarespace map. For example, if I switch across to this site, I've added a map in here, and we can adjust the size of it. We can go into settings and change the look and feel of it. But one of the limitations is we've got one map pointer. So let's have a look at adding multiple map pointers to this design. So first of all, I'm going to make this map bigger within the section. So let's uh, edit the section here. I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to put it on a black background. We're going to go to the design of this section and I'm going to remove the fill screen option so it makes it compact from top to bottom. So like a cartridge slotting into that section, it really goes edge to edge. And I've left a section off to the left here. I'm going to leave about five or six blocks so we could put some contact information in here, for example. There we go. We'll go with that. So just imagine that's a full address that looks good and proper and all that. And we can start customizing this map. If you've got a one location business or you're not looking to do anything more advanced, like, for example, you might have multiple dealer locations or locations where you run classes and you want to put them all in one map. That's what this tutorial is for. But first, we need to hop over to Square Websites and purchase this plugin here. We can see it's $70. But for this feature, the only other alternatives are looking at another third party solution. For example, Google Maps, which is free, but it looks really ugly because it isn't in keeping with the rest of the site. As a designer, that's really important to me is to have everything looking cohesive. We could put them over multiple maps, but then that's not the best user experience. So this ticks the box for one off fee of $70 per site where we can get multiple map locations. We can have pop-ups like on this example here, and we can keep it looking like a Squarespace map. And I believe the Squarespace map overlays are the best in the business. Once we've added this to our cart and checked out, we should see an account area here where we can go into our previous orders and find the product from our orders and then click on it. And we've got a download item option. That will download a text file, which will give us the step of the code and instructions of where to paste it into our site. I've already done it on this example here. So if I just press the forward slash key as a shortcut, and then if I start searching for injection, we can see code injection here. Next up, it will load up the code injection in both the header and footer section. As per the instructions, we're going to put this in the footer section. We don't want to put it in the header because it will load it too early and that could cause complications. The other thing to note is to put it in the footer section, you will need to upgrade the option here. If you've got a personal plan with Squarespace, this may not work. So let's have a look at this in action. We can see the code in here. We don't need to worry about any of that. We don't need to change one part of it. In fact, I strongly recommend that you don't change anything in this area once we paste it in. We go out of the settings once we press save and we should see the map all ready to go. I, again, strongly recommend you give a full browser refresh once you've installed the code because it might not pick it up first time and you may think that it's not working. And that happened to me when I double clicked on it first time. I just had the two tabs open. And the one thing we know, if we've got this advanced map tool installed properly, we should have four tabs instead of two with the standard Squarespace feature. So that's all of the install process. But let's have a quick look at some of the features. We will be covering this in more detail in future tutorials. We've got content tab first, which is standard and what you would expect within Squarespace. No changes there. If we look at this option here, we've got a dark mode, which I think will work really nicely with this design. The dark mode version of it, where it'll have to change the pointer colors. We can set the map zoom level, which I believe is specific to this plugin. It used to always be fiddly before. You need to enable the zoom in and out options and then hope that it's saved properly first time. It's a little buggy, the default version. But this works rather nicely where we can zoom in and out. And I'm going to create a chapter coming up where we're going to look at snazzy styles in particular. We've got the multiple tab here, which allows us to set up multiple map pointers. One of the main reasons why you might want to purchase this tool. And also we can optimize our markers. And there's a lot of options that I can walk you through for them. But for now, we have achieved step one of installing this plugin. And just as a very quick recap, we need to make sure we purchase it first. 
then go into our account. If we don't have the instructions for our email, we can then go into our previous orders, find the order from there, then choose the download option to download item. From there, we will have a snippet of code in a text file, which we can open up and copy and paste it into the injection area. To find the injection area, you can either go via website tools and code injection, or if you wanna be extra lazy like me, you can press forward slash and type it in. In fact, it's probably more work to type the shortcut in than to find it. But Squarespace are always changing and moving the menu system around. So the shortcut tool is a really handy addition as well. Next up, we're gonna start playing around with different effects and different styles with this tool. And if you'd like to purchase this plugin, please use my affiliate link, which is in the description, because that helps me out a little bit and means that I can create more tutorials like this completely for free, which will help you get the most out of these fabulous Squarespace plugins by Square Websites. I'll catch you next time.